Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Now, let me just say, um, as people know, I'm a big supporter of the boxing community here online. Right? I personally follow a lot of people who talk about boxing here online. Right? I don't publicize it, but yeah, trust me. I listen to the Boxing Voice. I listen to Wingy. I listen to T Street Controversy Live. Right? I come across a lot of articles. I try to get a lot of information like everyone else. I'm just trying to get information, pass some of it along, uh, enjoy the sport deepen my appreciation of it. Learn more about it so I can sit back and understand what I'm watching a little bit better. Right? But understand that in the world of boxing, right, people have agendas. Right? Everyone wants to present themselves in as positive a light as possible. Right? Everyone has a public relations agenda. Right? That includes promoters. That includes fighters right so from time to time you're gonna hear political spin and you're gonna hear opinions that quite frankly might not match the facts right now let me just talk about a dispute between a former client of mine and his promoter and how that's being misused right now and misunderstood by the public understand that an interview after interview here online Andre Ward has made it abundantly clear that he is ready willing and able to fight a fighter many regard as one of the very best in boxing right unbeaten middleweight champion and knockout artist Janady Golovkin right you don't have to speculate about Andre Ward's willingness it's all over the internet from Andre Ward himself by the way that's the best source to hear information from right Andre Ward will tell you about his thoughts just to understand he's ready willing and able to fight Janady Golovkin now, if you want to know the reason why Andre isn't fighting Janady Golovkin, all you have to do is go to BoxingScene.com today and see an article entitled, Golovkin's Manager, colon, Ward Should Solve His Problems First. What's happening is Andre wants to fight Janady Golovkin. Janady Golovkin right now doesn't want to fight Andre Ward. Right? This would be as ridiculous as Bernard Hopkins, after being challenged by Sergei Kovalev, another champion at light heavyweight, then saying, you know what, Sergei, I would fight you, but you need to resolve your lawsuit with Adonis Stevenson first. You know, the way things work in the real world is people sue people more than you realize. But that shouldn't prevent fights from happening. You understand, in the Sergei Kovalev-Hopkins situation, Kovalev had a lawsuit against Adana Stevenson. But like Andre Ward, Kovalev wanted to fight the very best. So Kovalev challenged Bernard Hopkins, and Hopkins accepted the challenge. We're going to get a great unification match at 175 pounds. Right? No one is screaming about the fact that Kovalev had a lawsuit against Adonis Stevenson because people understand this is business. At times, there are going to be business disagreements. Right? That's just the way things work. Right? And so, don't be distracted by any legal action that Andre Ward is pursuing to protect his legal rights. You know, in my opinion, 
fighters should protect their legal rights. If you're a fighter and you feel that you have been wronged or that a contract has been violated, whatever your reason, then you should be able to use the court system like everyone else. But don't confuse that with opponents deciding that they don't want to fight you. Right? The opponent can use whatever excuse they want. Right? They can say, hey, I don't want to fight him because his afro's too big. Whatever. Right? In this case, Guys are dodging Andre Ward by claiming, oh, Andre has issues with his promoter. What does that have to do with them? <laughs> right? Think about it. It's ridiculous. And so my point to you is simply this. Just like Sergei Kovalev challenged Bernard Hopkins, and we applaud that, Andre Ward has challenged Janady Golovkin. That fight is not taking place because Golovkin doesn't want to fight Andre Ward. Boxing fans shouldn't blame any legal action Andre Ward has brought against third parties that don't involve Janady Golovkin. Right? Don't blame the fighter for lawsuits that have nothing to do with the fighter's willingness to fight the very best in boxing. Right? Just understand... <laughs> Andre Ward has told you he's ready, willing, and able to fight the very best. Just understand, Andre Ward is out there openly challenging unbeaten champions like Janady Golovkin. This is while Golovkin is on a run that's jaw-dropping, right? The KO of Matthew Macklin, right? The recent KO of Daniel Gill. Right? Understand, Ward is challenging Golovkin when Golovkin is in his prime, doing his best work. Right? That's what fight fans should be focusing on. Right? They should be out there demanding of the Janady Golovkins of the world that they fight Andre Ward. And when a Golovkin or any other fighter, a Carl Frotch, whoever that fighter is, whenever a fighter then says, hey, I'm not going to fight Andre because of some lawsuit Andre has against a person who's not even that fighter's promoter, then you should throw a red flag on that fighter. Someone needs to say, hey, Janady, what is Andre's lawsuit against his own promoter have to do with you? Why is that a reason not to fight one of the very best in boxing? Right? Think about it. Pound for pound, I would say that Andre Ward really has very few peers. Right? Floyd Mayweather, all right. Is there anyone else? So really, Janady Golovkin is now off to fight Marco Antonio Rubio. Right? A good fighter. I like Rubio. He's not Andre Ward. Can we be real? You know what I mean? Carl Frotch is talking about fighting in the U.S., etc. But I don't hear Carl Frotch mentioning Andre Ward's name. Isn't Andre Ward the best in the United States in Carl Frotch's own weight class? Wouldn't Carl Frotch know that firsthand since Carl Frotch has already been beaten by Andre Ward? Right, understand the ultimate power in boxing belongs with you, the public. Right, don't buy these tall tales from fighters that they can't fight an opponent because that opponent is having a business dispute with their promoter. Right, the one thing you don't see are these world-class fighters challenging Andre Ward. Why aren't they picking up the phone? and responding to Andre's willingness to fight them. Who's afraid of who? What's the real reason why we're not getting that Andre ward Janady Golovkin fight? You tell me, why is it that Oleg Herman, Janady Golovkin's manager, feels the need to explain 
to BoxingScene.com that his fighter's not going to proceed with the fight against Andre Ward because Andre Ward is suing his own promoter. Right? So, as Chuck D famously said, don't believe the hype. Right? What's happening is that people are hesitant to fight one of boxing's best. They could use whatever reason they want. Right? You, the boxing fan, should question that reason. Right? Andre Ward has told you he's ready, willing, and able to fight the very best. He's willing to fight Golovkin while Golovkin's doing his best work in his prime. Right? Fighters who are blaming a lawsuit that doesn't even involve them should be questioned. Right? Let me challenge the press that covers boxing. Right? When these guys are around talking about fighters, you should say to them, you should say to Carl Frotch, you beat George Groves. That's nice. When are you going to try to avenge your loss? Loss, underlined, to Andre Ward. Right? Janady Golovkin, hey, you looked great knocking out Daniel Gill. Right? Now, are you going to take on one of the very best in the sport, pound for pound? Are you going to accept Andre Ward's challenge? Right? That's what people should be talking about. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me just point out, I'm very serious. I have a deep respect for... The folks here on YouTube and their boxing shows understand <laughs> I get most of my boxing information from you, the YouTube boxing community. I understand that it's a rough and tumble world out here. This is the Internet, right? At times, I understand people are going to, you know, uh, question opinions of mine, etc., uh, past roles I've had, etc. Sounds good to me. It's all right. Let it rip. But please, as you do so, also challenge the fighters themselves. If Andre Ward has called out Janady Golovkin, don't buy statements that don't make sense. Right? If, if the Golovkin response is, well, Andre is suing his promoter, you know, your follow-up question should be, well, well, what does that have to do with your fighter? You know, have you made an offer to Andre and his promoter to get this fight done? Right? Those questions need to be included in the dialogue. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.